So today is a rainy day outside. Not good baseball weather. It's be a fun little day of playing catch by yourself. Uh, for those of you who have never done it, it's pretty simple. You're gonna throw a baseball into the net, go get it and throw it again. And you gotta be smart about it, gotta be disciplined about it because you're obviously trying to simulate uh, as much as you can a real throwing day. So that means as you go back, uh, as you get more loose, your throws go up, you're aiming a little bit higher on the net um, and you're progressively bringing it up just like you would into a long toss and then coming back down more intensity in that kind of pull down stage at the end. So not ideal, but um, you know, something I got very used to in rehab was kind of throwing by myself on your own schedule. So young pitchers learn how to do this. Um, this way you don't have to be reliant on other people and other people's schedules uh, in order to get your work in that day. So never an excuse, don't be lazy. I'll uh, get that work in, so uh, let's get after it. What's up, guys? It's game day again. It's a Saturday morning, and uh, we got a doubleheader today and I'm throwing game two of the doubleheader. So it's about 12 o'clock right now. I'm walking over to the field. I uh, got our testing in this morning. I uh, just got some breakfast in and kind of chilled out for a little bit. So I'm gonna head over. Um, same thing as the normal doubleheader routine. I'm gonna watch probably the first five innings of game one, try to get a feel for their hitters, their lineup, see their swings in person. And then we'll head into the tent in the indoor facility started loosening up going through my uh, pregame routine. And there should be enough time to get ready to go. So two big games today, and then on the road for third game of the series tomorrow. So got a good week of prep in behind me. Um, the weather looks like it's cleared up a little bit. So it looks like we'll get to play today. The field's a little bit muddy, but nonetheless, we're gonna play some baseball today. So two big games on the bump for game two. Let's, uh, let's go try to win some ball games and play some good baseball today. Not great, not ideal. Um, tough day at the park, dropped both games. First one, kind of a blowout. Second one, lost a tight one, three to two. Um, also a tough blow. I had to come out in the fourth inning uh, after three and a third. I, uh, Felt a little tweak in my shoulder there. So um, kind of the front area here. So again, not ideal, not great, but um, you know, I could tell a big difference in the fourth. I uh, started going out there and in the fourth, just kind of my fastball got real flat, uh, velo dropped. Um, so, you know, I wasn't able to be nearly as effective combined with some pain in there. So. Uh, you know what? It was just a the decision to not try to push through that. Um, you know, especially coming off a of shoulder surgery to begin with, wouldn't be smart to really try to test that and push through it, especially mid-season like this. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you know, it's really my first hiccup, I would say, um, in the rehab process. So. I've been pretty lucky from that standpoint, um, being 13 months out, you know, I think it's all right. It's just a matter of being smart with it now. And that's kind of what the focus of tonight and tomorrow, especially is going to be is see how it reacts, see how it feels. And the main priority now is, uh, getting ready for next weekend. Um, hopefully we can squeeze out a win on the road tomorrow and, my job is gonna be, you know, continue to give my team a chance to win, do whatever I can do, um, pitching through pain, whatever I gotta do. But uh, my main priority now is getting ready for next week. So the plan for tonight now is to um, get some dinner, try to let my body recover because came out early, but still went three and a third. So still, um, you know, according to 
Uh, all the data that I looked at, it's still a pretty taxing day on my body and my arm. So um, I'm gonna try to recover, uh, get as much food and protein in as I can, um, and then just try to take it easy, relax. I'm not gonna push my arm too much tonight. I wanna see how it feels tomorrow. So tomorrow's uh, gonna be a big day in terms of choosing how to play it. Um, we'll see what I test out at in the morning. We'll see how my shoulder feels in the morning. Um, and then that's gonna determine the plan for tomorrow as far as throwing and what the workload's gonna look like. Um, so tonight, gonna order some food, uh, try to get a heavy dinner in. Um, just picked up a protein shake at the convenience store. So gonna get that in and um, uh, try to try to mentally and physically recover from today and um, get ready for next start next week. So that's all we got for today. Um, shitty, frustrating, a um, little bit of a bad break there, bad luck, but at the same time, uh, got a job to do. So um, it's time to get ready to do that job next week. So that's what we got. Hello, friends. Um, we're back Sunday morning. Arm feels eh. Um, certainly not. Obviously, great. not gonna push too hard upper body today. We're gonna um, just try to move it around, see how it reacts, see what I can do with it, um, and then maybe put the ball in my hand, see how throwing feels today. Um, but like I said yesterday, main focus is gonna be recovery and getting back to. Full health, full strength. Work out in. Ooh, also fun little activity today. Today is a fun crossover day. I am doing a Instagram takeover for baseball jobs overseas for my guys uh, David Burns and Jimmy Jensen. Um, so taking over their Instagram account today. The idea is to show people kind of what the daily life looks like um, as an overseas ball player. So. That's gonna be fun. Uh, gonna take people through kind of my backstory, what a typical day looks like for me, um, and kind of dive into a little bit of recovery. So what you guys see here on the vlogs, I'm gonna show the people on baseball jobs overseas. So uh, like I told you, go check those guys out and uh, shout out to my guys. Back here at the gym, uh, the plan for today is some cardio on the bike. Uh, maybe some jump rope. Um, we're gonna do some band work. Uh, just try to get the shoulder active and moving around again. Um, depending on how we feel, probably some uh, light plyo ball tosses uh, just to get back in the uh, train of that arm path again because uh, it got a little out of whack yesterday. And then a uh, dynamic Double circuit. My metrics actually surprisingly tested out pretty well. I got a really good night of sleep. So we're in the green, so that means it's time to push today. Um, but obviously still being smart about it. So let's get this work in. Oh, and also one of my favorite shirts here, Pink Whitney, sponsor me, please. <laughs> Content? Yeah, what okay. Oh, vlog? Yeah, were you making the vlog appearance here? Here we are. Guy in the door in the background. Does that matter? No, it doesn't. What does matter is that me, Tate, and my guy Steer over here are here on baseball jobs overseas. We're all living in Prague. We're all having a good time. Okay? We're on Charles Bridge in the middle of Prague on a Sunday. Again, do I care? No, I do not. Okay. This is what you do baseball jobs overseas for. You live for nights like this that you just won't forget. All right. I'm going to send this to my boy, uh, my boy Steer over here. But we've lived a good life and we're fortunate. We get to do what we love every single day and we get to live here. 
You can't ask for what much. What say? More. You gotta love that from my boy Steer and Andy here. Gotta love it. Well, I gotta love it. That's content. So that's another week from Prague in the books. Thanks for coming along. I'm um, looking forward to doing a lot more. We got some uh, exciting new stuff coming up, some new content. Um, gonna collab with a couple people. So excited to announce that and uh, tell y'all what's coming on the way. We got some uh, day in the life videos, some nutrition, training. Uh, we got a lot more stuff coming up on the way. So thank you to all those that have uh, been here from the very start. Uh, we're excited to keep growing with you. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you got to do. Want to reach out on social media. Love to talk with y'all. Love to meet you. So uh, again, thanks for coming along. Another fun week and uh, we'll be back next week.